If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Now you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. It seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talking new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm going to miss this place. If we're going to do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Steve set up a base of operations at the Noose Building off the Palomino Freeway. All right, now, let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now, there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. 
Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own hearts. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files. Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you! Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. Man, it's gonna cost you, homie. Trust me. You gonna pay for that shit. The place is up here. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be waiting. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with this Fed pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. Hello. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. Haynes' guy? You gonna take us to your chopper? If you wanna pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump.
Okay. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security team. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone, connected to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top in the mass of numbers in the middle. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. Quick, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Hey, you want to sign with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dog. Let's do this shit. Go! Driver's meeting us out front, right? We got what we came for. We're coming through. We getting out of here. Hey, get lost. You gotta go, Ben. This is not good. Where's our getaway? Hey, I'm here. The ambulance. Get in, guys. Don't discharge your weapons. We want them to think we're a legitimate paramedic crew. We might be getting away with this. Okay, we lost him, Frank. We're meeting Lester at your place for a debrief. Hey, 
That was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Whoa, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking, once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose end. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. We can joke about how screwed up your damn life is. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, well, what else are we gonna do? Besides, Trevor ain't a problem, and Dave will look after me, I think. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Hey, come on in, man, but don't forget to take your shoes off. <laughs> Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer and I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? Well, I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. On. Oh, shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I'd probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! <laughs>